Welcome back to the video. Today we're at Cleveland High School in St. Louis, Missouri. This place has a lot of cool features. It has probably one of the best auditoriums that we've ever been to. We, we even got on the roof. So let's just jump right in and show you guys. Here's what the front looks like. You can see up there, it looks like a castle almost. In my opinion, a lot of these older schools just have a lot better designs than new construction. Grover Cleveland High School was built in 1915 for the rapidly growing city of St. Louis. The design of the front of the building was based off of St. James Palace in London, which is where the monarchy of England resides. For several decades, the school was thriving and served as an anchor for the local community. In 1984, Cleveland High School became a ROTC Junior Naval Academy. The building remained in use until 2006. For the next few years, St. Louis Public Schools paid for a caretaker until he died, and after that, the district never hired a new caretaker. Now, with decreased supervision of the school, vandalism and scrapping increased. The Junior Naval Academy moved to the Pruitt Military Academy building, and then in 2010, moved to the Southwest High School building. In 2021, Cleveland Junior Naval Academy ceased to exist. Two large fires further damaged the original school in 2020. The 235,285 square foot building is still listed on the St. Louis Public Schools website as a surplus property with an asking price of $2,352,850. As time goes on, the condition continues to worsen, so hopefully someone will restore one of the most iconic school buildings which symbolized the heyday of the early 1900s in St. Louis. Next week, part two of our exploration of Cleveland High School will be posted and we'll show the other gym, which is in better condition, the cafeteria, as well as a few other highlights of the school. And overall, since, uh, since we've been in here, this is definitely the <clears throat> best room with graffiti. There's several nice pieces, I would say. It's really going all the way around. Pretty good, in my opinion. Alright, let's show you all what one of the locker rooms look like. There's two of them, but they're like basically identical, so I think we're just going to show you all one of them. More graffiti in here, some, some cool stuff. Nice and colorful. Alright, let's get this light on, it's getting a little dark now. And uh, it looks like we're back out to the hallway now. So let's keep going and see what else we can find. So we came across, at first I thought this was kind of like a back storage room, kind of for the books, but I believe this is actually the library. Now, it doesn't look like there's anywhere for like the students to sit or anything, but what I found just insane was just the amount of books that was just all left behind. They literally left every single book, it appears. And people have uh, kind of ripped them off the shelves, but there's just thousands and thousands of books here. It is pretty wild to see this. I mean, they're just, I mean, this is a, we've never really seen anything quite like this. Here's a few books on the shelves still that are all good condition, untouched. Mint condition right there. A few over here too. Just show you all the last row shelves and you just look down there just more and more books looking over here on the, the librarian's desk and there's um there's several library cards from the students back in the day a huge I wouldn't really say a huge pile but maybe about yeah so there's or so. yeah there's, yeah it's a good estimate they're, they're kind of all over the place on the ground and stuff too but, interesting little artifact are these a uh, floppy disks is that what you call these I think I'm not really too familiar with those but I, I believe that's what these are so it looks like we've come across the first gym I believe there's two gyms to this high school so earlier I said uh, the pool had the best graffiti graffiti or artwork whatever you want to call it but I would I would say the gym is definitely um, definitely a little better.
nice big gym and then um we're gonna head we're gonna head this way and show you guys the auditorium i think you all really want to see this so actually backstage it looks like they had um two two additional hoops so out here we got all the seats looks like looks like um i don't think anything's been burned so that's good just starting out this auditorium i wouldn't say it's quite as big as coolies but it's still a nice sized auditorium i'd say maybe seats maybe a thousand maybe and in a second we're gonna we're gonna head up to that upper level and we're gonna show you what it looks like from up there Made it on the top floor, the auditorium. It's really cool up here. I'd say this is gonna this is gonna take the number one spot for best auditorium we've seen at a abandoned school. I would say. I mean the the Cooley one, like the architecture for for that high school, I think was maybe a little better, but all the seats were burned, so. It didn't really have the same aesthetic as this has. We're standing on the roof right now. Looks like there's multiple levels to the roof. And we're gonna try to get as high as we can. Hopefully we can get up by those towers. Those look pretty cool. And I, I bet the view is great from up there too. So can't wait to show you guys. I've done a little bit of climbing. So, so right now we're on the top top level of the roof there's several levels you kind of have to do a few pull-ups but not too crazy to get up here and you can see over here we got the castle towers that's what they kind of look like I can go in one real fast and show you the little room there there's just a little bit of graffiti it's kind of cool they have a little room though still Go this way and show you guys what the view from the roof looks like. It's a very nice view. You can see downtown from here and uh, just different buildings that are taller. Church straight ahead. I'm not sure exactly what that church is. Thank you all for watching this video. So again, we're going to be posting part two of our exploration of Cleveland High School next week. We're going to show you guys the other gym, the cafeteria, and the choir room, I believe, and just a few other highlights around the school. So we hope to see you again next week.